Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. It is so good to be back and, um, you know, get back into getting y'all these good facts and information. <laughs> so today I'm going to talk about the cuties update. Yes, I cannot wait to talk about this. Um, however, before we get started, make sure you like subscribe and you know comment if you have any questions or concerns for me uh, about any past videos that I've posted and you know share with your friends and hit that bell because you know you won't get my video notifications unless you do so yeah all right let's get right into the nitty-gritty because it got real y'all um last time we talked Cuties was under some fire. People were pissed off about it. Some people didn't understand why people were pissed off about it. And then, uh, you know, Ted Cruz, he, Governor Ted Cruz, he just like was like, oh, hell no. Um, this is not happening. I'm filing and I'm, I'm going to bring this to uh, justice, this justice system's attention because this is not okay. And that's exactly what happened. Okay, y'all? Basically, Netflix got indicted. Yes, you heard that right. They have gotten indicted because of this cuties or Minoin Noins. I don't know how to say that. Minona's, uh movie. Okay, so that's how serious it was. So first off, I want to say excuse me for like my eyes going back and forth or looking up and down. But I'm reading off my notes, and the reason why I do that is because I don't want you guys to miss any information at all. I don't want to miss anything, and um, I have to do that because my ADHD is real, y'all. Anyways, so it says, Netflix has been indicted in Texas on charges that the film Cuties contains lewd depictions of children. Okay, Grand Jury in Tyler County, Texas, is charging Netflix with promotion of lewd visual material depicting, depicting, oh my God, I can't say that word, a child, a criminal act in Texas that was introduced into state law in 2018. So in 2018, this law was brought up uh, because it was like, uh, hold on, we need to protect children and protect them from movies that, you know, directors that want to cast these children into um, their movie and then depict, depict it, that, expose them, <laughs> pretty much, right? Sorry. Um, the full moon has been affecting me. I cannot talk. I am so sorry, y'all. But anyway. So yeah, that law was made back then, and then it says uh, depict the depict depict the lewd exhibition of the genitals or pubic area of a clothed or partially clothed child who is younger than 18 years of age at the time uh, the visual material was created, um, according to the indictment filing, which, like I said, Ted Cruz had, you know, filed and a couple other people backed him up. But they believe that Cuties depicted the this um, the lewd expeditions of uh, of children's genitals, and they did because at a point in the movie, I forgot what I said in the last one, but I think it was like an hour or closer to the end of the movie. The girl, the oldest girl who actually plays a younger role in the movie, she took a picture of her genitalia and sent it off to whoever. And I'm sorry, but it looked like she took a real picture. So that's a violation right there, okay? Um, and so how how did this even, like, go about and how did this how did netflix approve of this right so two people by the name hastings and sarandos uh they just ended up being like getting obtaining the position of ceo and co-ceo of netflix since the beginning of this year and you know they instantly connected with this director of cuties uh, and writer named Mayuma, Mayumna uh, Decor, okay? So 
So right away, they hit her up because they heard of her project and they just could not get a hold of these. They couldn't wait to get a hold of these children. And it says the filing also states that said content appeals to the prurient interest in sex and has no serious literary, artistic, political, or scientific value. The film screened at the Sundance Film Festival, where it netted director and writer Mayumna Bekur the Sundance's Global Filmmaking Award in 2017. Uh, so <laughs> they were just like, uh, what was the purpose again to expose children sexually? Because y'all had no description, no nothing about this movie. It was just like, oh, watch this. It's is to bring awareness and we were all like well, okay what awareness okay so um netflix was served a summons on october 1st with c with co-ceos um reed hastings and ted sarandos individually named okay so they got served separately y'all the company rejects the justification for the charges a netflix spokesperson tells the Verge that Cuties is a social commentary against the sexualization of young children. Okay, uh, so the attorney that is uh, protecting Reed Hastings and Ted Sarandos and Mrs. Um, Decor said himself that the charge is one of the dumbest and most observed in the state. Texas-based defense um, attorney Paul Saputo said, Texas law uh, specifically notes that the content can't possess any serious liter literary, artistic, political, or scientific value. The fact that Decor earned a top prize from one of the most renowned film be uh, festivals in the world and achieved critical acclaim from some of the most respected critics proves that the cut that cut the charge um that they should cut the charges um if they do it could lead to some to some observed consequences saputa said if the argument is that netflix is promoting material that exhibits lewd behavior it is also arguable then that paying netflix subscribers um, possesses content that contains depictions of children performing lewd behavior. So does the state of Texas indict on Netflix subscribers? So in my opinion, so what he's saying is like, you know, if we're going to charge, if you guys, this is so dumb because this movie, you say this movie doesn't have this, but Mrs. Decor is the most, like she's real respected and she has all this, um, she has all this clout, right? She's just like one of those high ranking directors over there. And she has achieved this award, a Sundance Award. Not a lot of people, not a lot of directors win this. So of course it was artistic. Of course it was beautiful. Of course it was this and this and this and that, right? Of course they had a message. So if you're going to, go after her, if you're going to go after the two um, co-CEOs of Netflix, you best be going after every subscriber too, because then at that point, if if you're trying to say that this material is um, illegal, then people who own a subscription to Netflix or own this subscription to this movie or watching this movie and has this movie needs to be arrested and needs to be followed as well. And I don't believe, um, I, I'm sorry, I don't agree with what he's saying on the first part, because yes, it is, it is nasty. Yes, um, I don't know how old this young man is, but it don't take a rocket science, a rocket, rocket science, a rocket scientist to know that there are perverts in corporate America. 
Look at some of the movies that they put out in the 90s. I mean, some movies they put out in the 80s makes me like, oh my God, isn't that girl like 13 or ain't that girl like 12? Okay, so, and that man is all up on her. So let's not, let's not act like we don't, ne we've never seen this before. Let's not act like we don't know this, that we act like, like this does not exist because it does, okay? That's what I want to say to him. Second of all, Yes, I do agree. If you have a Netflix account and you've watched the movie and you have the movie still and you still rock with Netflix after that, mm, you might want to consider unsubscribing because they are under some real heat right now and you do not want to be in that crossfire when it all goes down. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Um, No more Netflix and chill. I'm sorry. So the, he said the entire scenario is laughable um, and it contains serious artistic value, according to Saputo. So, yeah, that's just that's concerning to me that an attorney does not see anything wrong with this film. Uh, so since the ban on lewd material featuring children applies to anyone under the age of 18, Saputo argued that by the law's definition, teenagers dancing on Instagram and TikTok could be seen as promoting lewd depictions of children as well. Since the law was introduced in 2018, he's never had a client or heard of a client being brought up on charges because he says, I don't think there's any prosecutor who wants to take the argument on. Meaning it's not that serious, right? Um, so he's trying to just pretty much belittle everybody's concerns and saying that this, you know, she got an award. What are y'all so worried about? Y'all just, you know, you're just weird, right? Uh, and, you know, I, I kind of said this in my last video to like, yes, I like he has some key points, but he you trying to mix things together and that's not okay. Um, and that I feel like is a gaslighting tactic because you can't say, oh, yeah, you know, if you're going to, if you think this is bad, you should go after these people. But, you know, I don't see anything wrong with it. It's like, okay, shows like Dancing Dolls of Atlanta and Tyler's and Tierra and TikToks and this and this and that. Yes. Okay. Yes. They should be investigated as well. I'm sorry. I, I think they should. I was on TikTok the other day and some girl I know, her four-year-old son, just was on there, I mean, being super inappropriate. I had to hurry up and change it because I was like, oh my God, what did I just see? And I had to try to re report it because it was like, no, you're not going to do this, having your baby on here, doing that, this kind of stuff. And crazy thing is, she probably don't even know because he, he just takes her phone, but Poor parenting, okay? Poor parenting is what this is all going back to. No, you should not be signing your kids up to be gyrating and humping the air. And no, you should not be dressing up your toddler and sending them off to a show to show off their belly button and their damn legs, okay? No, you should not let your child be on TikTok picking and talking. No. So, he got a point, but I'm sorry, sir, you're trying to gaslight us, and it's and I'm not for it. So, um, I mean, anyway, so uh, it says Netflix's situation is a different story. He added, Saputo believes that if the prosecutors are going forward with it, the district attorney's office is likely already backing up the argument. So, in other words, like it's like why like this is going to get thrown out pretty much. Uh, Netflix is going to have to hire a criminal defender and some and find some critics who can attest to the movie being art, Saputo said. It's not going to be difficult. Once again, him saying, uh, y'all can get anybody y'all want to. It ain't going to work. Ain't nobody going to pick this up. Um, so that being said, five days following um, this whole article and all this stuff going coming out and everybody finding out about Netflix being now in justice's hands <laughs> okay five times the amount of people unsubscribed okay just because of this film and because of everything that's been going on and the numbers are actually rising by the minute 
okay, it's getting serious. So uh, Netflix has a document. Netflix also has a documentary named Cheer with a person named Jerry Harris. Based on reports, this man, Jerry Harris, um, exchanged nude photos with young boys and convinced them to meet. Um, and he admitted to authorities that, you know, he has done this. So, like, he admitted this. He pretty much, like, went into the police station and was like, yeah, I did that. I did that. Yeah. And, you know, it's like, okay, ill and y'all are still having a show with him involved right okay so it's like i'm wondering is netflix creating a platform for sickos to target young people and children that's what i'm worried worried about because just ill like you're not supposed to be supporting anybody if i know i don't care if somebody is a church member healing person if i know they're a child sex offender and you know they still struggling with that baby uh uh no 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 i'm not supporting you i'm not supporting you i'm sorry i don't care who you are if you're a pedophile no that's like that's like donald trump calling the white supremacists that were acting all crazy burning shit down some fine fine gentlemen, some fine people. No, no, we're not doing that. We're not promoting people who are children molesters. No, no. Um, That just pisses me off. So it says, it's a little surprising in 2020 America that we're having a discussion about censoring storytelling is what Sarandos um, told Mipcom Market according to Deadline. And Serenos, like I said, is one of the co-CEOs of Netflix. So he thinks it's storytelling, that the movie's cuties is storytelling. Um, it's a film that is very misunderstood with some audiences uniquely within the United States, he added. The film speaks for itself. It's very personal coming of age film. It's the director's story and the film has obviously played very well as Sundance without any of this controversy and played in theaters throughout Europe without any of this controversy. So pretty much what he's saying is everybody over here in the USA is crazy. Like we just crazy. Like, and everybody else over there are just artistic and understands. We're just lame and they understand. No, I think, um, I just think that people over there too see what's going on and y'all are trying to silence them because I know that there are adults all over the world that saw this and was like, nah, nah, nah. Mm -mm. So please, it ain't just us in the US that's all bothered about this. I'm pretty sure there's parents all over the world, okay? No. And adults, period, all over the world that are pissed off about this. I know teenagers that are pissed off about this, okay? I don't even wanna. Says Netflix has previously defended the title as a powerful story about the pressure young girls face on social media and from social society uh, more generally growing up. Cuties writer and director, French Senegalese filmmaker, Mayamuna Decor, also previously penned an op-ed for the Washington um, Post. In it, she wrote, we as adults have not given children the tools to grow up healthy in our society. So apparently to her, this is giving our children wonderful tools to grow up in society. Not talking to our kids, not educating our kids, showing them other kids being French. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, you know, this did not just catch, you know, the justice system's 
eye. This also caught organizations' eyes, and I'll tell you what I mean what I mean by that. So, a statement to Fox News last month, uh, the Parents Television Council or PTC called for President Trump and the Department of Justice to probe Netflix about cuties and for its alleged pattern of behavior. Because let's be real, um, if this is something on Netflix and your kids, you know, you're in the kitchen cooking, like I said, you know, monitor, monitoring the children, they, they're so quick, they get the remote, they click, what's this? Or you're downstairs on the phone or something, and then they, oh, what's this? You know, it's so easily accessible. It's almost like we don't even have a choice anymore to say, well, I don't want my kids to watch this in this net because when we go downstairs or go in the shower real quick to do something, them kids be like, oh, what's that? Come on now. Um, then it says, we are ultimately asking the president to introduce the DOJ to investigate Netflix, uh, not just for this film, but for its pattern of behavior, said Melissa Henson. Program Director of the Parents Television Council, or PTC, a nonpartisan education organization advocate, advocating responsible entertainment. Um, we hope to get Netflix to be more responsible and refrain from sexualizing kids for entertainment going forward. Yes, I agree. Um, that's exactly what it is, sexualizing children for entertainment. And that's exactly why the law was made. You broke the law, you got to pay. Um, unfortunately, I also, okay, I'm sorry, but I also feel like the parents need to be indicted as well. Because the film would have never existed if it wasn't for the parents. They are dead ass wrong. You want to go after anybody, go after Netflix, go after, you know, Theranos and, you know, the other guy and, you know, Mrs. Malnuna, go after them. And then also go after the parents because they have failed their kids. Um, I just, I'm, I'm highly upset at the situation. Because like I said, I have friends who were like, oh, there's nothing wrong with this. And it's like, you know, you feel conflicted about who they are as a person. Like, are you a pervert? Um, I'm glad I don't trust you around my kids. Um, you know, I just don't know how to feel or what to say about any of this kind of stuff. So, you know, I if you have any comments, please let me know. Because I just, I'm at loss of words. Yes, I'm glad that they got indicted. But I'm sad that these little, these young, young girls have to have this stain on their name, this like dark cloud over their head. Because for a while, people are going to tease them. So, like, I guess for um, at the expense of them and their reputation, they had to get this message out. Not okay, not okay. But anyways, I hope that this was, you know, informative in some way. I ramble a lot. Like I said, I'm just happy to be here. I'm happy I have followers and people who are actually watching and like, gaining information and obtaining it i love you all you are all so beautiful thank you so much mm -hmm. have a beautiful day <laughs>